Good, how are you? Good. Secure part of the lot. <laughs> yeah, you don't. have business, you can't be in here. I do have business, I'm an investigative journalist. Okay, still a secured part of the lot. It's not. It is. It's not. you have your ID with you? I'm not going to give you that. Okay, you're required to. You're in a secured part of the lot, you're going to be trespassed. So okay, so um, we'll just kind of move into it. If you want to introduce yourself and kind of how long you've been on the police department and stuff like that. Sure. Um, I'm Lieutenant Matt Sack, and I've been with uh, Eden Prairie about 18 years okay. in law enforcement, 23, and currently the patrol division. Perfect. Uh, and as you know, I'm John. Uh, I go by Rowdy. Um, so the reason I wanted to kind of stop by today and have a conversation with you uh, is because of the interaction we have doing the first time of audit with your department and myself. Yep. Um, I think there's improves on both sides, to include myself. Um, so I just kind of wanted to, I, I just showed you the, the footage. I'm just curious what your thoughts are on the footage. and. Both sides. I mean, I'll take just as much criticism as well. So. You let me know. Where, first off, you can't trespass me on the public property. And I secure part of the lot. So where is the sign that says authorized personnel only? It says police vehicles only. Yeah. Do secure I have wheels or? Fence around I don't have any wheels. There. This is not a public access area. It's over there. And I have a from the city hall. So you're welcome to go to those spots. Unfortunately, you're not correct. Let's go. I mean, you're saying that that sign. Let's go. You're not even going to explain it to me. I will outside of the secured area. I, d I don't think you're right. Okay, I, I'm not here to argue that. I'm but not here to argue either. I'm just doing an investigative story. Okay, for who? No, I appreciate that. I do appreciate the chance to be able to sit and talk. Um, I think it's it's valuable that if everybody can learn from each other in, in these situations. Um, as you probably know, it's it's a little bit alarming and startling when people come into that area of a parking lot where, say, our, our equipment is, our squad cars are. It's just not normal. Mm -hmm. So I think that really catches people off guard. Um, obviously, we're in a very unique times in law enforcement right now, and, and there's a, some anxiety out there with, with different people in the world about kind of what, what's going on with law enforcement. There's a lot of hatred towards it right now. Um, there's been ambushes in parking lots. I mean, so it's a whole gamut of feelings of nobody knows really what's going on. So I think when, when you come into a lot, obviously those alarm bells go off, and it kind of catches people out of their, their norm to figure out, hey, what's going on here? Is this good? Is this bad? Are we in danger, or is this just someone exercising their First Amendment rights? I can't tell you that right now, because so I can't you, publish it. So you're not? Mm, well, why would I be out here on okay. a Sunday? I don't know. Let's go. you got to step out of here. Let's go. I, I, There's a public area over there, public area right at the front of City but Hall. But there is zero sign saying authorized personnel only. There's a fence around it. There's a and it's wide open. Only. It says Call police vehicles. Vehicles in here. Well, you drive them, but I didn't drive in here. Let's go. I walked. Let's go. Let's keep walking. Let's... As soon as I finish the cars, I will. I have a couple of questions actually I'd like to answer those. But as soon as I'm done, I'm not done again. Let's go out here. All I have to do is film the rest of the cars here and that's it. You can film from back there. Well how come there's private vehicles in here? Those police officers' vehicles or what? Some are, some are investigators, it's all kinds of city vehicles. Okay. This is a city lot. And what's your name and badge number? Badge number is eighty one. What's what's your name? Perimeter. Okay. What's your name and badge number? Ninety six stop one. Do you have your ID with you now? I sure don't. I think there's a little caught off guard in trying to kind of figure out the angle and what was going on uh, and making sure everybody was safe. But, um, you know, I know as things went on and, and progressively talked, um, you know, you were able to get out there and, and get the footage you were looking for. Mm -hmm. But I think really a lot of it boils down to just kind of that that feeling of what's, what's the angle or what's someone looking for uh, and to make sure that we know we're we're on the same page and we're trying to help each other out. Yeah. Um, so I think there was, there was, in the end, I know I know things probably didn't start out the way that, that you were looking for or such, but I think there was just hesitation on where things were going. So. Why not? I'm not a public servant, you are. You're working yourself towards a criminal investigation, which would make me- For, for what though? You for, say I'm trespassing. You are getting towards trespassing here. We've asked you to leave, you're not leaving. But I'm asking you a simple question. I'm asking you, to leave and step outside to where the public is allowed to be and you're refusing. I'm trying to talk to you about it because I don't think you're right. Okay, and we can talk out here. Let's go over here and then I'm gonna come back in here. I can just, I, all I can say is that. So who's above you that's here? I am the right around duty. Okay, because I've got two sergeants now that don't know what they're talking about. All right, here, we're on the other side of this. Police parking only. 
Now, again, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. If I go around to some of these other doors, you can back up six feet. You have a mask on? You can back up six I'll feet. I'll put my mask on too. You can back up for me six feet, for my safety and for yours. So I'm not gonna stand in the middle of the parking lot for you. Okay, well you can stand over there behind your sign. You're making this very difficult. Okay, so, and this can go one of two ways. Really? Yeah, so this can go one of two ways, okay? Either A, we can have a respectful conversation and a good dialogue, nope. which I think is important right about now, because this is gonna be on the internet. That's fine. Or I've asked you to step away from me, six feet, for my safety and for yours. Do you have a body cam on you, sir? Nope, it's running in the car. Okay, well, where's the car? There's a car right over there. Okay, and I'd like you to step over here so I can see you. I'm, I'm fine where I'm at. Okay, well, Thank you, though. then I'll step over here since we have a problem. We put on our masks for you. I appreciate that. Um, so, number one, what does the sign say? Can you read this to me? You can read it just fine. You are shining with the camera. Yeah, so does that say police parking only? It does. Okay, so where does it say authorized personnel only? I want you to look at the fence. Look at the fence all the way And this big this giant hole in the right. fence, right? So that police officers can park their squad cars in here. That's fine, I have no problem with that. Yeah, and I think you know, hopefully, I know we've kind of talked before we started rolling the camera, but you've kind of talked about some of the changes that have already been discussed and, and kind of what have those changes that regarding that this topic brought up? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's it's always good to, to evaluate things in all facets of our job and our community and the world. And is there something we can learn from something that happened? Um, I think we probably realized we need some different signage um, to, to keep a restricted area. It's a public building. We want to kind of balance that public access versus having a restricted area where we do have law enforcement sensitive materials, equipment, information, things like that. So, yeah. um, you know, consulting with the uh, city's attorney to, to make sure we've got the language that we would need to put on a sign to kind of restrict that area, but allow the public to come and go uh, from the other parts of the building. So, yeah. Um, that was kind of something that we knew we, we needed to work on, but kind of open our eyes to it. Those aren't the rules. The rules are clearly stated right here. It says police parking only. So now we've got kind of a problem, don't we? Your interpretation of the rules. It's, no, no, no. I'm using a very direct. I'm using a very direct. You can, no, no, no. You're doing that. You're interpreting it for your agenda. What I'm telling you is this is a very direct sign. It says police parking only. Now I'm asking you, do you see wheels? I'm fast, but not that fast. And I wouldn't run from you either, by the way, just to be clear. I have no ill will. I'm doing an investigative story on a police department that seems to have a problem with that. We are that. more than happy to answer questions for you, but you're Great. in a security area. This is not is a security area. It doesn't even say that. All it says is police parking only. I don't know how it could be any more clear than what it says right here. Police, par there's three words. It's not- You're, you're obviously trying to- No, I don't issue. want to. I don't want, you're pushing the issue. I'm trying to make a reason to get in here and look around, which is fine. You can do that, and I'm telling you what you just told me I could. Here. Thank you. That's all. It was that simple? You're now you're manipulating words, but hey, it is you what it said is. you're it's making a reason to get in here and look around at squad cars, and that's fine. Okay, great. Why are we arguing? There's a reason, not whatever. I'm not going to play words. But, but I guess I'm just wondering why we're arguing here. Because you came out, you approached me, you wanted to argue with me. No, but I I told you you can't be in this area. You can step out here. We'll talk to you. There's public areas. I don't want to. I don't want to talk to you. I want to finish doing my investigation. I don't. I, I don't need to. I'm not required to tell you any of those normal, things because two things can happen. Normal investigators. I'm going to finish my sentence now. So two things happen when you tell somebody what you're doing. Okay. Number one, everything gets flawed and skewed in whatever direction. Okay. Now I try to keep it professional. You want to be upset about the fact that your sign doesn't state what you're saying it says. That's one thing. That's on you. But what I'm doing is an investigative story, and I don't need to tell you who I'm doing it for. That's part of the First Amendment. Okay. Well, I'm not a police investigator, so don't get that don't get that confused. They ask for a sergeant, they ask for an officer, they ask for a police. Well, a sergeant came out to me, officer. so I don't need to ask for one. You're here. A sergeant came out because our officers knew you were in here in a private area. It's not a private area. It says nothing of privacy. It's on public park, public property, and it says police parking only. I, I can't be any more specific than what your sign says. So this is an authorized. It doesn't say authorized parking. personnel only. It's, I'm telling you that it doesn't matter what you say, though, officer. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You don't yes, interpret the law. You don't create. No, but it does, you don't create the law. If the sign says 55 miles an hour, 
and I come to you and I say, well, you know, it says in the 50s, so I was going 59, and you pull me over, am I wrong or am I right? It's, it's a very specific sign, right? And it says speed limit, 55 miles an hour. This says police parking only. I can't go drive my car back here and park. I can park in the visitor parking, right? There's there's visitor parking for those specific things right there, right? Yep, there's also visitor parking here. Correct. And then that says police vehicles only. So you're telling me I can go over here, but that says police vehicles only as well. So what do I, where can I go then? I mean, because that sign to you means I can't be that way. That's what you're, you're saying. You're obviously here to pick a fight. Right? No, no, no. To pick a you came out to pick a fight instead of having a discussion with me. And that was your mistake. Because I just did a video on e our Edina Police Department. Very professional. Same sign, same everything. Very professional. We had a great conversation. I actually asked for the sergeant to do an interview with him. I don't care. They still have the same yeah, sign. You did not. You didn't ask for an interview. You came out. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to ask you for an interview because what you came out is you told me the wrong first thing you open up with is you're in a secure area so what, what, what more do you want to film i want to film i want to finish going through these vehicles here and, and then in terms of training moving forward and kind of the interaction that was had and uh, those kind of things i mean is there any plans moving forward or just kind of conversations with your officers about what is acceptable what's not acceptable in terms of what people like myself when i come in can do versus not do and, and, and how that interaction may play out in the future yeah i think uh i mean we've talked about this over the years obviously we have uh, a lot of younger newer officers we have some more seasoned ones so it's a topic that comes around definitely time and time again uh, it's always a good reminder to have those conversations about balancing officer safety with people's uh, first amendment rights mm -hmm. uh, and that's that looks different in different areas of the world different areas of the state uh, in different cities and i really think it's just having those conversations and talking about it and Number one, like I said, uh, improving our knowledge uh, and our sense of the signage and making sure we've got what we need in place so we know what we can enforce. Uh, and I don't think there was any ill intent on anybody uh, on this, in this interaction. It was just going off of previous information we had. Sure. So I think getting the, the signage up, having those conversations, um, learning about kind of interactions with people and reminding people about it. Again, I'll, I'll defend our officers every day for having that that level of skepticism, uh, mm -hmm. because at times we really want to make sure we're we're looking at everything fully and not just accepting everything at face value. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of where you get a little bit of that back on the heels to begin with. Sure. Uh, yeah. But I think it's worth having those conversations to make sure we're still all learning. So. I think that makes sense. Um, the last thing that I want to say to to my viewers is, you know, I am not anti-law enforcement. I brought donuts, which was kind of a joke, but also uh, I left the package unopened so I know I didn't poison them. Um, but I'm very pro good police, and I think that even if you have a bad interaction, we can make a difference and a change and turn that into a positive. And so now we're kind of sitting here talking. We got to talk a little bit, a lot before this. The actual video was shot, but we had a great conversation. Um, I think it's important, just like Lieutenant Sackett said, to, to kind of grow that transparency and communication with people. So I appreciate you taking the time to sit down with me. I appreciate it. I really thank you, sir. I want you to stay safe and make sure your officers know I want them to stay safe. Um, and we'll go from there. I look forward to, to seeing the improvements because you guys are, are doing a great job. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for so meeting much. and talking. I appreciate it. Of course. Thanks. Do you have a business card on you? All set. Do you have a business card on you? Yep. Are you okay. all set? Do you have an ID? I'm going to ask some questions now. Do you have an ID on you as well, a police ID? I do. Okay, can I see that as well? By the way, I'm going to say this too. You are very cordial. Thank you. Appreciate that. And I'm not going to bash the guy, but I don't like to be intimidated. I don't need to hold it. Okay, okay. cool. All right. Thank you for so, sharing that. You bet. So here's the scoop. So as long as your business is done, we'll be done, and we, we can, we can uh, move on from there, all right? Okay. And do you have a supervisor's name above this gentleman here that I could speak with at some point, maybe calling them if you have a...